Okay, at first glance at this question, there's a lot going on here. Um, and before I begin the solution, I want to preface this by saying that there's always more than one way to get to a final simplified answer when you're doing working with exponents. So what I'm going to show you is what I believe is the simplest way if you do these steps in this order, but it's not the only way to do it. So what I recommend you do first is identify any overall negative exponents outside of brackets. And what you want to do is take those negative exponents and make them positive. And the effect that has on the inside is you simply flip the fraction. So you can see the k has moved from denominator to numerator, and this expression has moved to the numerator. I'd also recommend, if you see a divide sign, if you think back to earlier grades, in order to divide fractions, you change your divide sign into a multiply sign, and you flip your fraction. So we're going to do the same thing here. So what that boils down to is that a negative sign in an exponent will flip your fraction if you turn it positive, and a divide sign will also flip your fraction if you turn it into a multiply sign. So we flip two fractions. Now if we look at this third term, we have a divide sign and we have a negative sign. Well, if you flip a fraction twice, you simply end up back with the same fraction again. So we're going to make our divide sign a multiply, we're going to make our negative positive, and we end up with the same fraction that we started with. So I recommend that as your first step is try and remove all divide signs and all negative outer exponents, like outside of large brackets. So the next thing we're going to look at is how are we going to deal with getting these exponents onto individual terms. So all you need to do is take every exponent and multiply it by the exponent inside the brackets. So if it's just a k, you would think of the exponent as being 1. So 1 times 5, you're going to have k to the power of 5. Each of these are inside a bracket with a negative 2 exponent and then another exponent you're going to deal with. So both the 5 and the g end up with negative 10 exponents. You simply multiply negative 2 times 5 for each term. And so let's go through and do that for all of these. You're going to have g9, 5 to the power of 18, and k to the power of 18. And over here, you're going to have k to the power of 6, 5 negative 12, g negative 12. So now we have simplified all of our exponents so that they belong to specific letters or numbers exactly. We have gotten rid of all the brackets on the inside. And so from here, we can gather together all of our like terms. So we are going to have g terms, 5 terms, and k terms. We're going to gather that all together. The big 3 in front is just its own number, so it's going to stay there. So let's look at the g. If you look at all the instances of g, it's in four different places. And so you can see I've gathered them here together. We've got our 7 that we began with. If the term is in a denominator, you're going to subtract that power. So we're subtracting a negative 10. Then we're going to add a 9 because it's on top, and we're going to subtract a negative 12. So that would be our expression that once we simplify it will be our power for g. And then you repeat the process for each of the possible variables that you have. So we have k's, all with powers. You can see them gathered together here. And we have the number 5, with starts with a negative 10, which you'll notice I made negative because this was in a denominator, and at this point we're just gathering things all on their own line, so you can think of all of these as being numerators. So I need to switch the sign on this from negative to positive. This is also, it starts as positive, so now it's negative, and here's a negative, and we're subtracting it. So all of the fives were in the denominator, so all of those get a negative sign in front when you gather it together. Let's do the math on this. This combination ends up being 38. This combination ends up being negative 7. And this combination, once you put it together, ends up being 4. And then you would take all of your numbers. So we have a 3 and a 5 to the power of 4. So you would turn that into, uh, oh, don't know it off the top of my head, 5 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3 ends up being 1,875. You can see the g38. And then if you have a negative exponent, you should move that back into a denominator and make it a positive exponent. So as I said, there are other pathways to simplify these, but I believe that is the simplest pathway. Those steps being remove your negative signs from outer exponents and your divide signs, 
uh, gather all of your exponents onto individual letters or numbers that they belong to, gather those together, calculate what those would be, and get to your final answer.